Is Unity better than Unreal Engine? So to most game developers, this is probably an absurd question. But as I've said in other comparison videos, a question like this can become far more meaningful when you ask a question like this in relation to your personal context. So in the context of the question itself, you might ask personal context questions like these. Do I prefer to write code in C Sharp or C++? Do I want to work on AAA games for large companies or do I want to be an indie game developer? Do I want to go through the pain and torment of learning C++ so that I can leverage Unreal Engine for creating my games? Do I want to create games with photorealistic graphics or will less realistic graphics suffice due to the types of games that I wish to create? Am I happy to work for a startup company? Do I want to create my own small game development business? So those are just a few examples of questions you might ask yourself when deciding on which game engine to invest time into learning. So when looking at your personal context in relation to the question, is Unity better than Unreal Engine? Perhaps this question is not so absurd. Let me know in the comments section which of these technologies you prefer and why. If once you've viewed the video and you feel that I've left out any important details that should have been included in the video, please feel free to include those details in the comments section. Before we get into the saucy details of this video, I just want to mention that I started creating this Unity for Beginners course in 2023. I only, however, completed six videos for the series as I had higher priority work to complete at the time. Please check out the playlist for this course at this URL, which contains the six videos. If there's enough interest, I'll complete the course and update it so that it is suitable for 2025. Right, let's get back into the topic of this video. Let's start by looking at a brief overview of the histories of these two powerful game engines, and then we'll compare a few of the salient attributes of Unity and Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine, developed by Epic Games, debuted in 1998 with the game Unreal, showcasing advanced 3D graphics and an innovative level editor. Unreal Engine 2, released in 2002, introduced better physics and animation, expanding its appeal. With Unreal Engine 3, released in 2006, it achieved widespread industry adoption, featuring HDR lighting and dynamic shadows in hits like Gears of War. Unreal Engine 4, released in 2014, added the Blueprint Visual Scripting system, enabling non-programmers to create game logic and expanding its use in film and simulations. Unreal Engine 5, released in 2022, introduced Nanite, virtualized geometry, and Lumen, real-time global illumination, transforming workflows in gaming, virtual production, and the metaverse. Today, Unreal Engine stands as a versatile tool for interactive media across diverse industries. Unity was created by Unity Technologies and launched in 2005 as a tool to democratize game development, initially targeting indie developers with a focus on ease of use. Early on, it became popular for mobile game development with support for multiple platforms. Unity 3, released in 2010, expanded its capabilities with better 3D graphics and support for consoles, helping it gain traction in larger projects. With Unity 4 released in 2012, the engine introduced Mechanum for advanced animation and support for Linux, followed by Unity 5 released in 2015, which brought physically-based rendering, PBR, and a free-to-use model. Unity's flexibility and extensive asset store fostered a large community, especially in VR, virtual reality, slash AR, augmented reality, mobile, and 2D games. Today, Unity is widely used not only in gaming, but also in film, automotive, architecture, and simulations, establishing itself as a leading engine for cross-platform development. Unity controversy erupted in September 2023 when Unity Technologies announced changes to its pricing model, specifically introducing a new runtime fee. This fee proposed charging developers a fee each time their game was installed once certain download and revenue thresholds were met. The announcement 
caused significant backlash from developers who were concerned about unpredictable costs, potential exploitation from repeat installations, and the retroactive application of these fees to existing games. The gaming community criticized Unity for breaking trust and disrupting business models, especially for indie developers and studios with high download, low revenue games. In response to the backlash, Unity quickly apologized and later adjusted the policy, reducing fees and offering clearer terms. But the incident highlighted growing frustrations with Unity's recent business strategies and left lasting concerns about its relationship with developers. So another point of interest regarding Unity's pricing model is that it was fairly recently announced Unity Personal will remain free and the current revenue and funding ceiling will increase from 100,000 to 200,000 US dollars. So this means more people can use Unity at no cost. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. If you'd like to follow me on X, my username is at Gavin Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Please let me know which of these technologies you prefer and why. All comments are of course welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. So to give this video even more context, I found an interesting article. It looks like the article has fairly recently been updated, September 2024. I've included a link below in the description to this article where the author ranks a list of 19 best game engines. So let's check it out. At number 19, we have Adventure Game Studio. At number 18, we have RenPy. This is an engine made with Python. At 17, we have Game Maker. At 16, we have Creation Engine. At 15, we have Snowdrop. At 14, Decima. At 13, Fox Engine. 12, Ubisoft Anvil. 11, Frostbite. Ah, at 10, we have Godot. This is one of my personal favorites where you can create your games using C Sharp. At number nine, RPG Maker. Okay, great. Number eight, here we have Unity. Let's read what the author says about Unity. Unity was considered to be one of the best game engines because of the availability indie developers have to it and the games that has been used to create. Games like Outer Wilds, Inside, and Ori and the Will of the Wisps run on this engine. It has been used to make games since 2005 and has slowly gained traction among developers, with the software getting major props for being easy to develop for beginners who may not know that much about coding and developing video games. Indie games stand out in a few different ways, with one of the major differences being just how artsy and engaging these video games are. Unity has allowed indie developers to create such outstanding pieces of art, with the sheer variety of games made in this engine being quite mind-blowing in its own right. However, their recent anti-consumer practices have placed the engine in a bad light, and developers will have to spend a lot of time regaining their hard-earned goodwill. At number seven, we have Red Engine. Number six, Havoc. Number five, Rage. Number four, Cry Engine. Number three, Ed Tech. So at number two, we have Unreal Engine. And here we have some lightsabers, which is always a good sign. Oh, speaking of lightsabers, please check out this DaVinci Resolve course that I created for Free Code Camp. Link is in the description of this video. Where I momentarily went to the dark side. Hi and welcome everyone, I'm Gavin Lawn. So, why did I just show you that clip of me going to the dark side? Because good is dumb. No, that's not the reason. The reason is that I've been playing around with DaVinci Resolve and having a lot of fun with it. Thankfully, I'm back from the dark side. Let me tell you, despite the superficial glamorous dark side veneer, 
You know, glowing eyes and laser swords. The dark side is not a pleasant place to be. Anyway, please check out this free course on DaVinci Resolve, which is a sophisticated free video editing tool created by Blackmagic Design. I've included the link to this four hour free course in the description of this video. In this course, I teach you the basics of video editing using DaVinci Resolve, as well as how to create special effects like the lightsaber effect and Sith Lord eyes effect and other special effects like, for example, how to track moving objects on screen using the planar tracker node within the fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, sorry about the digression. Let's move on from lightsabers and read what the author has to say about Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine made an appearance in 1998 and was designed for first-person shooters like Unreal. Following this title, the game engine has been used for a wide variety of genres and has continued to develop and deliver incredible games with mind-blowing graphics. This Epic Games proprietary engine is currently on its fifth iteration, with the visuals being so remarkable that it feels like these titles are emulating the visuals seen in real life which is no mean feat. Great, and at number one, the author has placed Source. Okay, great. Unity and Unreal Engine are two of the most popular game development engines, each with its own strengths and unique features that cater to different types of projects, developers, and industries. Here's a comparison of their core differences. Graphics and visual quality. Unity is known for its flexibility and versatility. Unity is well suited for 2D and 3D games, particularly on mobile and VR, virtual reality slash AR augmented reality platforms. Its graphic capabilities have improved, but high-end visuals may require significant optimization and customization. Unreal Engine is renowned for high-end photorealistic graphics, making it ideal for AAA games and highly detailed environments. Unreal's latest versions feature advanced rendering technology like Nanite for virtualized geometry and Lumen for real-time global illumination, which can create incredibly realistic scenes. Programming language. Unity prior... <laughs> prior... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unity primarily uses c -sharp, which is generally considered beginner-friendly and widely used in game development. Unreal Engine primarily uses C++, a more complex but powerful language. Unreal also provides Blueprints, a visual scripting system that allows non-programmers to create game logic. Performance and platform support. Unity is known for its extensive platform support. Unity excels in mobile, VR, virtual reality, slash AR, augmented reality, and web-based games. It is optimized for lighter applications and is often preferred for mobile 2D games and smaller scale 3D games. Unreal Engine offers cross-platform support as well, but its strength lies in high-end PC and console games, where performance and graphical fidelity are top priorities. Marketplace and Asset Store. Unity has a well-established asset store with a wide range of assets, plugins, and tools that make prototyping and development faster. It's popular for assets catering to both indie developers and professionals. The marketplace for Unreal Engine is also robust, especially for high-end 3D models and assets. Unreal tends to focus more on AAA quality assets and resources, though it also has a growing collection of indie-friendly tools. Learning Curve and Community Unity has a large beginner-friendly community with abundant learning resources, tutorials, and documentation. It is often recommended for beginners due to its approachable learning curve, especially for 2D games. Unreal Engine has a more advanced learning curve, particularly for C++ programming. And there are extensive resources for learning both Blueprints and C++. Industry Adoption and Use Cases Unity is favored for mobile games, casual games, 2D games, and VR, virtual reality, slash AR, augmented reality applications. It's also popular in non-gaming industries like architecture, education, and simulation due to its flexibility and ease of use. Unreal Engine is often chosen for AAA games, 
high fidelity simulations, and virtual production in film and television due to its advanced rendering and graphical capabilities. Licensing and cost. Unity has a free version, Unity Personal, with limitations on revenue, as well as a tiered pricing model, Unity Pro and Enterprise, based on the developer's revenue. Unreal Engine is free to use with a royalty model. Developers pay 5% of gross revenue once the game passes $1 million USD in revenue. Epic Games often waives fees for games distributed on its own platform, the Epic Games Store. Both engines are powerful and capable of producing impressive results, but the best choice depends on the specific project needs, team expertise, and target platform. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If I've left any important details out that you feel should have been included in the video, please feel free to include it in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavinlon Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Let me know which of these technologies you prefer and why. All comments are of course welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. Do I want to create my own small business development? Do I own? Do I want to create my own small game? Do I want to create my own small game development business? So another point of interest regarding Unity's pricing model is that had so another point of interest so another point of interest regarding Unity's pricing model is that at Unreal also provides Unreal also provides blueprints Unreal also provides blueprints Unreal also provides Blueprints, a visual scripting system that allows non-programmers... <laughs>